Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today we are going to talk about how to maximize the browser in Playwright. There is no direct API available over here. There is no direct method in Playwright, just like we do have in Selenium. Like in Selenium, what we do driver.manage.window.maximize or full screen, you can use it. But here we don't as such, such methods are available. So what you just need to do is that from this particular browser, you need to create a new browser context. So I'm going to create a new context over here and see this method. This method is actually overloaded method and you can pass certain new context options over here, right? The second uh, one parameter that you can pass. So what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to use simple new and then I'm going to write new browser and new context options and then there is there are various methods are available you can see accept downloads and then color scheme and then device scale factor and various things are there so just like we have one viewport also we can add it over here see this set viewport size it's saying that give me the viewport size or you can just uh, overload this method you can use this overloaded method also pass the integer width and height of that particular window that you are looking for so I'm going to use this one and then let's say I'm looking for, uh, for example, let's say 1900 and the height is 1080, something like this. Let's see 1920, uh, width and height that you have to pass. And then after that, this browser new context is actually giving you the browser context. So I'm going to store inside the uh, browser uh, context is okay. And uh, with the help of this context dot just need to use this particular method, whatever the uh, new page that you have to use it. And this will give you the, the page, page equal to this, the regular thing that we are going to use it here. And then with this, you just simply write navigate the specific URL that you want to navigate. So let's run it. So now you can see it's completely open the new full screen window, whatever the current view port that you have given in the form of width and height it's coming over here like this so for example let's see if you're giving uh, let's see something 780 by 500 something like this that you are giving so in that case the screen size will be uh, smaller as compared to the previous one so let's see so here you can see that yeah this is 780 by 500 the screen size is getting open so you can set the viewport size and then accordingly you can do that in fact, you, what you can do is that you can get at the runtime what exactly the current view size of that specific window is going on. So let's see, for example, you go to this particular site, what is my viewport.com and you refresh it. So let's see you're, tomorrow you're using a big monitor or a small monitor or a small screen size or something. So accordingly, it will tell you that this is a viewport size 1792 pixel by 1009. So this is your screen size actually. So you can check your screen size online like that. You can check it on a desktop or a laptop that you can check that. So how will you get this current one? Uh, the dynamically, the current window size. So what you can do, you can use the toolkit option over here. So now we have to take the Java API. So there is one class that is called toolkit dot and then see this get default toolkit. You can use that. And then here it will give you one method that is called get a screen size over here. And this get screen size method is actually returning the dimension class object. So I'm going to store inside the dimension here, size equal to this. And then this dimension you have to import from java.awd package. And then from this screen size, what do you have to do? You just need to get the height and width. So first example, let's say I'm going to capture the width and then I'm going to store inside the, so get width actually is giving you one double. So one double number is just actually giving to you. So let's say I'm storing inside the double width and the same thing I'm going to use with the height also. So let's see, this is the height is equal to get height. Okay. But remember one thing that set view port size here, you can pass the width and height, whatever you have captured, but this guy is taking integer over here. Here we are using double. So if you pass width and height dynamically here, it will not work because obviously it is expecting integer and you are passing double. So what you can do, you can just type cast into integer here like this and both the sides and over here like that. And let's say I'm just going to print that height and width also. So let's say I'm just going to print. This is your uh, width plus with some colon plus let's see height over here and the same current height and width I'm giving over here as well. So here you can see that set view height for the argument double and double. Uh, we have to make integer over here, sorry. 
end over here because obviously you have converted that integer so you have to pass integer width and height so let's see whatever the current height and width is going on the same current height and width will be given over here so you can see 17 19 to 11 20 it is giving and the browser is actually getting open in the current viewport size same thing around 17 92 this site is calculating 1009 according to uh, java java is giving my current window size is 1792 11 20 so like this you can simple use that so tomorrow you are running this program on some big i mean big screen or some other resolution that you are working in that case it will give you the current height and width over here accordingly so simple there is no direct method of maximize the window you can just simply use the set view port size and then use it accordingly so that's all this is just a small thing just all for this particular video I hope it's clear now. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.